Hi, I'm Landon Norris, and you're about to experience the art of dating. Here at McLaren, we're always looking at cool new technologies like augmented reality to bring data to life. The moment you step on the boulevard, you're reminded of the history of McLaren, and each one of these cars has its own unique story to tell. Each year, we have thousands of visitors and guests that join us here for race views, car launches, and everything else. We're always looking for new ways to innovate those experiences. And working with Splunk, we've been able to take the historic data from some of these cars and bring it to life through augmented reality. Let's go and take a look. Cool. The use of augmented reality here and AR technology means we can overlay those virtual data points back into the physical space, looking at these amazing race cars and, and bring all those data points to life. As we head down here, actually, we can see some of the more historic cars we've had. And, and these were times when people were relying on their intuition and experience to make decisions. There were people being here for 20 years, they'd looked at pattern matching. But now, with more sensors in the car, we use those sensors to inform our decision making. But ultimately, having a talented driver also helps, right? <laughs> it definitely does. And all this is really cool. But this just shows us how the team communicate together. So why don't we go and take a look at how a team and the driver communicate to get the right information? Sure. Well, over here, we have a, a car very close to my heart, the MCL 35M, which helps me to score a very special podium in Monaco. Let's take a look. Mark, you were there with the team over in Monaco. How much has technology changed from the past to this beauty? Yeah, let's take you back on the history of, of telemetry. If you go back to when Formula One started in the 1950s, there was no telemetry, and it was a matter of the drivers explaining what the car was doing to the mechanics and the engineers to get the best out of it. We then saw in the mid-80s the introduction of telemetry, where as the car went down the main straight, it would send bursts of information uh, back to the pits. And then as we went on into the mid-90s, we started to see two-way telemetry. So the car was sending data to the pits, the engineers could actually manipulate the data on the car and send information back. But then sort of early 2000, the FIA were really concerned about how much control the engineers had over the cars. So in 2003, two-way telemetry was banned. And that's where we saw the evolution of steering wheels because steering wheels just had a couple of buttons on the wheel. But when we then had to make the driver make all the changes on the wheel, then you see the wheels that you see in Formula One today. So Lando, what is the most useful data and why? So. For us as drivers, we, we like to keep it very simple. I do anyway. Um, so we like to see the things that we're in control of. The brake pedal, the throttle pedal, the steering wheel, the gears. Uh, we want to know like what we can change directly. Now during the race, the car is sending back an awful lot of data back to the garage. You work with your race engineer during the course of the race. What is the specific data that you're looking for to help you perform with the car during the course of the Grand Prix? First of all, the things that just make me go quick, I like on that comparing to my teammate. Uh, secondly, the rest of the car, you know, how can we make the rest of the car go quicker? Looking after the tire temperatures, the fuel, uh, engine modes, things I can change on the steering wheel. But then most importantly, the strategy. You know, it's a race, we want to see if we're pitting ahead of the right people, if I need to go quicker and then pit and things like that. Who am I going to come out ahead of? We need to know who we're racing against, what's the best way we're going to be able to beat them. So they'll be constantly looking at those gaps, telling me things to do, whether I can drive quicker, if I can save the tires, more constant updates. Every single lap, sometimes numerous times a lap, and therefore we can get the best performance out of the car. Data's at the heart of our history here, whether enabling the AR experience as you tour the McLaren Boulevard of historic cars, or powering McLaren's competitive edge on racetrack. Formula One is a sport centered on data, finding insights and maximizing the benefits on the track. With a little help from a talented driver, of course, we're turning data into doing at 200 miles an hour.